Our next guest is our sad case, um, and uh, this will definitely tug on your heartstrings, but uh, again, we want someone who wants a big dog who um, needs some help to get well. He's not going to be available until um, we get him to gain a little bit more weight, and his name is Charlie. Obviously, Charlie is a great Pyrenees, and we're gradually working on um, removing the mats on him and putting some weight back on him. He um, definitely needs another bath, but it's an ongoing process to get him back in shape. He came to us uh, very, very thin. And one of our animal control officers is um, uh, overseeing his case until he is um, released from our law enforcement arm into our adoption arm, and then he can go into a new home. And as you can see, he needs lots of brushing. A lot of times when dogs have been um, not getting their full nutrition and exercise and what they need, they don't shed for a while. And then once they get back on good food and clean and dry, oh my gosh, all their coat comes out, which is now happening to Charlie. So um, he's also probably for his entire life going to shed significantly twice a year, as well as usually drool. And people who have bigger dogs like Newfoundlands and St. Bernard's, Bloodhounds, even Great Danes, are very accustomed to it. But I would definitely recommend that you think about it carefully because it's part of a, a lifestyle, part of a commitment to keep up with his grooming care because he's not going to be as easy to groom as, say, a beagle or a chihuahua that you just brush down with a damp rag. He's going to need brushing, and he's going to need, um, sometimes people even have them wear a bib so their coat doesn't get um, splashed with drool. Um, but what people like about these dogs is their gentle, uh, loving nature. And uh, because they're bred to guard sheep and even, in some cases, uh, handle predators in order to protect the sheep, so they're very brave, and uh, they are a, a very, very popular breed. So I think that uh, we're not going to have trouble finding him a home, but we are going to be careful about making sure that whoever takes him understands that uh, he's been through some hard times and he's going to need some patience and help to get back to his full vigor. Thanks for joining us on Pet Pals this week. As usual, if you've seen an animal that you think would make a good match for you, or someone you know, you can help us out by coming in to meet the pet for yourself, referring a friend, sharing their pet tango profile, either on social networking or by printing it and posting it somewhere new, or you can go to petfinder.com and look for his video and share that, or best of all, you can share the link at the bottom of your screen right now on social networking or through email so that people know to come to Frederick County Animal Control and Pet Adoption Center on Rosemont Avenue to find their new best friend. We'll see you next time.